Hello friends, let's discuss about hyperkalemia. Now, hyperkalemia is basically defined as a condition in which potassium level in the extracellular fluid increase more than 5.5 or 6 milli equivalents per liter. Generally, the hyperkalemia in the extracellular fluid or we can say in serum, it is present in between somewhere around 3.5 to 5.0 milli equivalents per liter or millimole per liter. But in certain condition, whether there is a known or unknown cause, there will be rise in serum potassium level more than 5.5 or 6 milli equivalents per liter. This condition is known as hyperkalemia. Now, why we need to treat immediately hyperkalemia? is because hyperkalemia is a condition which if not treated lead to arrhythmic condition. It is leading to cardiac arrhythmia which is the basic and fundamental cause of cardiac arrest and patient may die. And because of this reason hyperkalemia requires immediate management. The cause behind hyperkalemia can be treated afterwards but there should be regulation of potassium in the serum immediately is needed to save the patient. Now how can we treat hyperkalemia? Hyperkalemia is basically treated with the help of insulin. Now we all know that insulin is used for the management of type 1 diabetes mellitus because insulin is having glucose lowering action. Insulin promotes the uptake of glucose by the cells and thus it decreases serum glucose concentration. But insulin also used for the immediate management of hyperkalemia. Now how insulin is treating hyperkalemic patient let us understand with the physiological mechanism of insulin. This insulin will transiently redistribute potassium from extracellular domain to intracellular domain. Now let us understand that insulin is having action on hyperkalemic patient via two channels insulin activates sodium potassium ATPase channel now how this sodium potassium ATPase channel helps to redistribute potassium from extracellular domain to intracellular domain so let's say for example this is a cell and this is a extracellular domain here the potassium level is high in hyperkalemic condition now this sodium potassium ATPase channel promotes exit of sodium from the cell and promotes entry of potassium from extracellular domain to intracellular domain. Because of this exchange of sodium and potassium the concentration of potassium from outside the cell will redistribute to inside the cell and potassium level goes down and this is how it will transiently decrease the potassium level in the extracellular domain and controls the potassium level in between 3.5 to 5 milli equivalents per liter. Second mechanism is insulin activates sodium potassium 2 chloride co-transporter. Now this co-transporter is basically present in the nephron as well as in the cells. So it will promote the entry of sodium, potassium as well as chloride. All sodium, potassium and chloride all will get transferred from the extracellular fluid to the intracellular domain and thus it will decrease the potassium level in the extracellular fluid. This is how this insulin will help in the management of hyperkalemia and save the patient by dying from cardiac arrhythmia or cardiac arrest like life threatening condition. Because this insulin is having glucose lowering action, when it is used for the management of hyperkalemia, it will definitely redistribute the potassium and help to control the potassium level. But insulin can also lead to hypoglycemia because the patient is non-diabetic maybe there is al already sugar level is in control but by giving insulin for the management of hyperkalemia can lead to hypoglycemia 
and hypoglycemia is the major reason of fall and further consequences. So basically when insulin is used for the treatment of hyperkalemia, it is used along with the dextrose. Dextrose is the common form of glucose used along with insulin for the management of hyperkalemia in order to prevent hypoglycemic condition and that is why we promote or physician choose to use insulin along with the dextrose so that hypoglycemic condition can be prevented in non-diabetic patients suffering from hyperkalemia.